YouTube. I'm Jamie Brown with GemLevelMom.com and these are all my baby carriers. I don't frequently talk about uh, baby stuff, but I do have two kids right now and uh, I wear them a lot. We've got an ergo, we've got a ring sling, we've got a katan, we've got a woven wrap, we've got a boba 3G, and somehow, amidst all of these carriers, I still felt the need to buy another one. So why did I need another carrier? Well, this one's for a slightly different audience. This one is for my husband, Shane. Hello. So, Shane, why don't you go ahead and put that on and tell us why you were interested in it. Well, we were looking for a carrier for me, and I was looking for something that was a lot more durable and more designed for a guy. And we came across this, and we're pretty excited about it, with its tactical styling and uh, lots of modular uh, approach and design, and this day pack that actually integrates with the back of it, and we can show you how that works. Um, but ultimately, we liked all the features that this had. It had some additional features that some of the other ones didn't, and uh, it was a good fit, and it was more designed for a man because it was balanced front to back uh, with the counterweight. Awesome. So let's go ahead and put our model Jaylee in there. No, no. You, want, you want to go in here? Yeah. Something that's important here too is the fact that it's easy for him to do himself. So just like that's a key factor for any carrier that I buy, I need to be able to put the girls in it when I'm on my own. He can do the same thing here. So it's got two straps. He's putting in these top straps that secure this guy up first, and then he's got these lower straps that secure the legs down to the carrier. Um, we've left this guy on. I'm going to take it off now uh, because this is really important, actually. This is kind of a really small feature, but it's something I really loved about this pack is this is the information booklet that shows you exactly how it works. And it's got... All of your tips and tricks on uh, what the weight limits are, how to carry, what each of the straps does. It was really informative, and that was something that was actually lacking in some of my carriers when I bought them. I had to look on YouTube videos you to, to figure out how they worked, the uh, but this one shows you right there. So why don't you turn around and show a little bit of how she fits. So this is my two and a half year old. She's almost 30 pounds, so she's at the upper limit of this pack. And um, it's got a frontward facing. We can also turn her around and do outward facing. Try this, Jay, okay? Yeah. Ooh, that's and you can see, even at the upper limit, she still fits pretty well. She's also pretty tall for her age. Um, and there's not really a huge height problem here. And all of these straps are fully adjustable. So it fits Shane, but it also fits me, which I'll show you in just a minute. No, no, no. What's no? Do you want to get your arms up? Oh, you want to play? Still, there's no controlling for the fact that toddlers want to do what they want to do. Um, this is actually one of her favorite carriers to ride in, although it wouldn't look like it right now. Okay, so we're going to try and convince the toddlers to get into all three of these carriers so you guys can see the difference between how each of them uh, works on Shane's physique. But convincing a toddler to do anything, it's kind of like wrestling a wet hog. So, turn your arms in or out. Yeah, we'll do that one next. You want to do that one? Yeah. All right, do a little 360 for us, Shane. I will say this thing's impossible to adjust once you're wearing it. No, no, no. And how do you feel about the weight distribution on your hips versus your shoulders? It, it's, I, it doesn't feel comfortable on my hips. Okay. All right, we're going to try the boba next. This is the ergo. You want to try the other one? Jane, look, you want to try this one? Yeah, we're going to do this one next. You want to do this one? Daddy, do it. Daddy, do it? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I like You like this one? <laughs> Good girl. I will say the boba is the one that I use most frequently, so it's the one that she is most used to. I'm going to 
present. <laughs> yeah, you can have a present a little bit. So how does this feel on you? Uh, more comfortable than the last, but definitely a little awkward. Okay. So you can see he's got this uh, two-month-old in the carrier. She's definitely a bit smaller than I would wear around like this. I would still keep her swaddled in the carrier, which we'll show you in a second. Um, but you can see that uh, in just probably another month, so right about three months, this will be the perfect size for her to start uh, getting worn around in. Okay, so we've got Josie, my uh, two-month-old, in here now. She's about nine months old. I have her swaddled, and then she's kind of sitting in here Indian style. And what we do here, um, or why we like it this way, is because she's sitting up a little bit higher than she would be if her legs were sticking out. Um, it just sort of helps that hip dysplasia, because I know she's sitting in a slightly more ergonomic position. Um, you can check on her breathing a little bit better because she's sitting higher. Um, and I just feel like the carrier fits her a little bit better. Uh, she has really good head control, so I'm okay wearing her like this. I also wear her in my ergo and my boba in a similar position. Uh, I would not put a brand newborn um, in here like this just because they're a little squishy. So for a newborn, I might use something like a wrap or a katan. Uh, but at this age, I think with the swaddle, she fits really pretty well. And I was actually at the park wearing her just like this the other day. All right, so we've got both girls here. I've got the toddler on the floor. We've got the newborn in the carrier. It's getting close to nap time, so we're going to see if the newborn will fall asleep in here. But usually my girls only fall asleep in a carrier if I'm up and moving around. Uh, if you're stationary, I find that they don't like it quite so much. Um, but she's in here, so we can go through the features a little bit and kind of show you how some of them work. Do you want to start? Sure. So one thing I really like about it is the Molly attachment here. Um, similar to any of the military or tactical equipment you might find. There's all sorts of things you can get like uh, medical packs and pouches that you can keep diapers in or cell phone holders or water bottle holders that can strap on to any part of it and that's so, really cool. So we've got Molly attachments here on the front and then also where this backpack is. It's attached. This backpack is actually attached to the carrier using the Molly attachments on the back. So you can instead of the backpack use the Molly grid on the back or the Molly grid up on the front to put things, you know, anything that has maybe a carabiner or there's actually tactical Molly equipment that you can buy online, uh, like medical packs like Shane was saying or anything. So you can use this little webbing up here to carry all sorts of uh, cool stuff just to make your carrier that much better. And then, like we talked about before, it's got these extra leg supports for little babies. If her legs were coming through, we could do that like we did before, and that gives extra support down there and raises it up a little more. Um, it's got a sunshade that adds a little bit of support but mostly just a shade that snaps under here on both sides so that's nice what i actually really love about the sunshade um, and i'm not sure if they did it purposefully or not but it's just the fact that you have a really deep pocket to tuck it into and that you can fold it and it lays flat in here in my boba you actually have to stuff the sunshade into this really narrow pocket and it's more of a stuff and in the ergo, it can fold, but it's similar. The pocket's just not really big enough for it to sit flat and fold it nicely. So I like that about it. So some of the other nice things is the liner in here is nice and soft and padded, but it's also removable via snaps so you can wash it. Um, now, although this isn't, doesn't have the most support out of any carrier we have at the bottom, um, it's got these extra wings that add a little more support. So it's definitely not as bad as some of the worst ones out there. Um, and for putting her in like this, it's more than fine. But because it's reversible, it does have these stretchy strap things so that it works both ways. In theory, you could replace this with one that had more support, but I don't think they make that. Yeah, so what he's talking about here is the actual um, nylon structure of the carrier is pretty narrow in the crotch right here. So it comes down pretty narrow so that you could have a baby facing outward. But the lining itself has these stretchy wings that make that a bit wider. Um, and that's so that you can keep their hips nice and wide and they can stay more of a seated position when they're sitting in the carrier. But it is stretchy, so it doesn't offer a ton of support. It's just a little bit of support. But you could certainly hack that by replacing the liner. Um, or if that's not something that's super important to you, it's nice that you can go both inward facing and outward facing. Now, one thing I'll say is the internal of it, uh, the in inner side of it, definitely has a breathable material and it's comfortable, but it's not as cool as a backless carrier that we have several of, so that's something to think about. But uh, it's definitely more comfortable for me to wear than any of the other ones because it's more balanced. Um, even with, uh, we just have some towels in here to fill this out, but even with nothing in the back, it's a little more balanced. Uh, and then as you add weight, it gets even better. Yeah, I mean, that's phenomenal too, having a built-in um, basically diaper bag that integrates with the rest of your carrier because you're never going to go anywhere with your baby where you're not going to need your diapers and your snacks and your juice and your bottles 
Um, maybe you know your formula, if you're formula feeding, if you're breastfeeding, you could throw your cover in there. You're always gonna need a diaper bag. And so frequently I'm carrying the baby and then I have my diaper bag on my shoulder and it's impossible to keep the diaper bag on my shoulder while I'm carrying the baby and I'm probably holding the toddler's hand at the same time. Um, so that's just really smart. Not only is it ergonomic, but it's just really functional. Um, and Shane just handed me the changing pad uh, that is also integrated into that um, diaper bag uh, backpack. Slides right in the back. And it's a day pack. Obviously, it's fantastic that this is a day pack and not your typical diaper bag. So it's definitely more comfortable for a dad to wear out to the playground and not feel like he's carrying all the wrong stuff. Uh, the day pack also, if you break it apart from the uh, from the carrier. It has some backpack straps that hook onto these little uh, hooks here, so you can use it as just a backpack, but it's just one big um, opening in, in the inside. There's no pouches or pockets or anything, so that's something to, to know. Um, in terms of quality, this is really well-made, heavy-duty um, you know, canvas or nylon, whatever it is, and um, really well-designed with all of the support and adjustment, so uh, definitely Feels really durable. It exceeds expectations there, I would say. Yeah. Um, cool. So I think that's kind of top to bottom here. We're going to give you some secondary footage of comparing um, what the same baby looks like when Shane's wearing her in a boba and in an ergo. Those are my other two soft structured carriers that are probably most similar to this. And we'll also show you what this looks like on me um, because it's, it's definitely targeted more towards dads, but it's absolutely something a mom could wear too. Uh, so it's great multi-purpose um, carrier, and it's just, you know, they really thought of everything. They added a lot of fun features. I don't know of any other carrier that has that integrated pack pack. I like that they thought about um, hip dysplasia and giving a nice seated position to the baby, but they also wanted to uh, have an outward-facing option. I love the uh, Molly attachments on the front and the back because it really allows you to throw um, like a water bottle or something clipped to the front so it's easy access. And I really love that that uh, sunshade kind of folds up and tucks nicely in there. And then it's easy for one person to put on and off. So I think they took a lot from the carriers that are on the market today, the major carriers, and then they added to it, which I also thought was really great. Okay, so we've achieved newborn sleepiness. Um, she's sound asleep in the carrier, so it's clearly comfortable for her. And now we're going to be kind of mean and move her over to the boba and the ergo just to show you guys how the fit varies. So that's actually a benefit of the mission critical is that when we're putting this um, carrier on, you have to, the last step of securing the boba is turn around. There's this uh, cross strap in the back and that's what keeps the straps from falling down. So the way that the mission critical pack is designed, um, it actually is permanently crossed in the back and then you actually just bring the straps up and snap it to the, over the shoulders. So there's a snap here so that you don't have to reach behind you, which is actually frequently a problem. Yeah, rather than having the, the clips in the back on the bottom and the top, the clips are on the side and it has that full back, which this does not. So you, you do get a little more breathability here, but other than that, it is a little tougher to put on, I would say, for sure. Yeah, and you can see um, this carrier wraps around the sides of her, so it gives her um, full side support versus the Mission Critical had straps on the sides, uh, which I think, you know, both worked well, but that's just a little bit of a difference. And her head's at about the same height when we're carrying her uh, swaddled in both carriers. Okay, so we'll switch over and show you the ergo. And again, the ergo has that same strap in the back. A little too tight. Right? I think it's easier too tight. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Um, and you can see the ergo fits pretty similarly to the boba. Um, the Mission Critical is really a very unique styling that's pretty different from both of those. You can jump back in the film and see how they compare and contrast. Um, but she fits in a similar height in all three carriers. Uh, but it looked like the Mission Critical, she actually fit a little bit better up and down. It might be because we put her in when we were awake, so we could push her back and forth a little bit more. Now that she's asleep, I don't really want to futz with her too much. 
Um, but that's just sort of to give you a general comparison on how the three carriers fit on a male build and how a newborn fits in all three of them. And we'll show you the toddler in just a second. Okay, so I wanted to show you the mission critical on a female frame. Um, it actually, I mean, I'm a pretty small frame, but I'm definitely at the limits of this carrier. Uh, so things that I notice at first is that it doesn't put the weight on your hips like most of the other carriers. So like you can see on the Ergo, it has these um, thick padded hip straps, and that's where the majority of the baby's weight is going. Um, this definitely puts it more on your shoulders. Uh, and then it does have uh, these straps that go at your hips, and there is a little padding there. Um, but it definitely doesn't hit me at the hips. Uh, maybe it will when I throw the toddler in. Um, other than that, though, I mean, it seems fine. I really enjoy the counterweight in the backpack. And let's see how the newborn fits in. I could strap these myself, but I'm choosing not to because I don't want to wake up the newborn. Okay, so that's how that fits. It feels pretty solid. Um, it definitely is cool to have uh, the same amount of weight on the front and the back. That's different for me. Uh, definitely not something any of my other carriers do. Um, and I definitely feel more of the weight distributed on my shoulders than on my hips. I could lower it by extending these straps and that would put a little bit more weight on my hips, but then the baby would sit lower than I really want her to. Um, so it's just, it's a different sizing, it's a different, uh, it's, a, it's a completely different design uh, than the other soft structured carriers that I have and the major soft structured carriers on the market. Because um, it's designed for men. Because it's designed for men. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try and make some closing statements with the toddler here, so pardon the toddles. Um, in general, you know, we really like this carrier. It's definitely worlds different from any of the other soft structured carriers on the market. Uh, it's definitely built more uh, specifically for a man's physique. Uh, it's definitely more rugged. It seems very durable. It seems like a really quality carrier. Um, and full disclosure, in case I didn't mention it earlier, uh, this was provided to me for free by Mission Critical for um, testing and review. And we've, you know, put it through the ringer. We've definitely taken it out in the wild a little bit. Um, I've taken it to the playground. Um, my husband's taken it out a little bit. Uh, and I think, you know, in general, it travels really well. Yes, I, I agree completely. Um, I really like a lot of the features of it. Um, we've, we've talked about some of them through the review, but um, in case you couldn't see everything, I just want to give you a good view of it. Um, breathable material inside, and overall it's something that I like, and this is the carrier I will be using going forward. Great. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.